welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you another luxury DIY project and I am so excited about this. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to create your very own mock Louis Vuitton candle. Now in order to do this so it looks like a very close replica, we are gonna be doing everything from scratch. Now I am not sharing this with you so that way you can create fakes and go and try to sell them as the real thing. This is strictly if you like the look of the candle and you want your own but you don't wanna pay that hefty price tag that Louis Vuitton is charging then this is a great dupe alternative. And what's great about this one is it does have the movable strap, so depending on however you would like to display it, you can choose to do so. Now it's up to you if you actually do want to light this and have this be a burning candle in your house. You can easily add in your favorite scent into the wax during the melting process. With this particular one though, I just use regular candle wax that is unscented, so I'm not gonna be going through that process on camera, but you can definitely add your own scents if you would like. Now because the Louis Vuitton candles do have a colored wick, this wick is painted so if you do want to burn it keep that in mind I'm not sure how the paint is going to affect the properties of the candle of course if you are planning on burning it then you can always skip the painting of the wick step now you can choose whatever color you would like you could even do a color that Louis Vuitton doesn't make so you can do like pinks and neon green and bright oranges and whatever you would like I just did the red because of the Louis Vuitton colors. That one is my favorite, but they do have other colors to choose from. So whatever you would prefer to match your aesthetic, go for it. I am gonna give you a quick run through of all of the items that I did need. I will link everything down below as well for you, but that way you can get everything set up and ready to go. So first off, I did get these coasters from William Sonoma. You can use pretty much whatever kind of gold coasters or gold lids you can find, or maybe you even already have a candle that comes with the gold lid. So you could even check out like Bath & Body works but this particular one is about four inches in diameter and fits rather perfectly right on top there. I got these particular bowls from Walmart and I will try to find them and link them down below for you or I will link the closest thing that I can. The candles that I use to melt the wax are just from Ikea and they're just the standard Latinad or the unscented white candles. This particular size is a 10 centimeter or four inch and I used one of these for one of these candles. So if you wanna make multiples, then just pick up a few of these and you don't have to worry about purchasing separate wicks. So once this melted down, I was just able to take the wick out of this put it in the center of the candle, paint it, and then I was good to go. For the candle warmer and the hot glue gun, I actually just picked these up off of Amazon. The candle warmer, or in this case, candle plate, is by Doris. And then the hot glue gun, which really any hot glue gun is gonna work for you. This one was very inexpensive though. This one is by AdTech, and then it is a combo pack because it came with the actual gun as well as the extra glue sticks. And you are also going to need a heat safe bowl because this is what you are going to be melting all of your candle wax in. This particular one is a Pyrex brand and it is microwave safe. If you're finding that the wax is not melting with your candle plate, you can always just pop it in the microwave just to kind of help speed up the process. But I do find that you get a much smoother finish if you use the candle warmer. You are going to want to cut your candle up into little bits because that is going to help it melt so much faster. Once your wax has started melting, go ahead and pour half of it into your bowl and stick your wick right down the top through the middle. Wait for the wax to completely dry and then you're able to paint your wick whatever color you choose. This way you're not gonna get a lot of paint on the top wax and it's gonna flow seamlessly through the candle. And then once the paint has dried from there, you can pour the rest of your wax on top for a nice smooth finish. For the leather strap here, so you can use either tooling leather or vegetable leather. They are about the same thing. Even if you look on the Louis Vuitton website, all of their vachetta or vaquetta leather is actually vegetable leather. So whatever you can find there, I just measured it out, cut it out in this little strip, made sure that the corners were rounded. And then you're also gonna need a needle punch because you are going to want to pre-punch all of the holes to put your thread through because hand doing it when you're going along is going to be very tedious. And this is gonna make sure that you're a lot more accurate with your spacing. To protect your tabletop, you'll need a nice mat. I really like this one because it does have all of the measurements and everything listed out. So you can use this for a variety of different projects. I did hand stitch all of this because the sewing machine that I have will not go through this thick leather. So you might need to get a little bit crafty and be a little bit handy, but then I just used a standard pale yellow thread and I think it ended up matching very well. You of course are going to need paint and a paintbrush. So I got this dark reddish color. This is a red rust color. That is for the glazing around the leather piece. And then I just got some true red for the candle wick. Thank you. 
Now for the side buttons, because I wanted this to be able to move instead of just gluing it straight onto the side, I did use little snaps instead of just like rivets or eyelets, but you can definitely use whatever you would prefer there, depending on how you would like the finished look to turn out. So you can even use brads. That would probably be the easiest, but if you do want this nice movement ability, then go ahead and use these snaps and I'll link those down below. I just picked up this little bag of snaps off of Amazon. It does come in four pieces, so you will need a couple of tools in order to install it onto the leather. So you're gonna need an eyelet setter and a little hammer because you will be hammering in the eyelets. You're gonna need a hole punch to go through the leather. And again, this is a hammer powered one because leather is pretty thick. So your standard paper hole punch is not gonna work. Now, as you can see, I am using a hot glue gun to glue this on. Now, depending on the material or the finish that you have on your bowl, if you are finding that this strap is popping off, you can always use a stronger glue like the E6000. This is industrial strength glue, so it is going to hold a lot better, but I am just gonna glue this last bit on and then we are going to be good to go. So I'm gonna put the glue on the strap here so I can easily line it up once I have it ready to be stuck to the bowl. All right, and then I'm just gonna make sure that it is centered here. And then I'm just gonna hold it on really tight and I'm not gonna put any pressure on the pulling the strap up itself until I am 100% sure that the glue is set and dry and nice and strong. All right, and there we go. So you can choose how you'd like to display this if you want the strap up you want it down and then depending on how you would like to display it I got these gold coasters these are supposed to act as like the lids this was the closest thing that I could find in the correct size and the most similar to the Louis Vuitton style so you can either put it on top if you would like and just store it like that or you can just set this down on the counter or wherever you're going to be displaying it put the candle right on top there just like they have it displayed at the store and then you are good to go. Well, I hope that you enjoyed this video on how to make your very own Louis Vuitton style candle. If you do like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you have any ideas for any other videos you'd like to see, let me know in the comment section down below. Be sure to hit that subscribe button because I do have a ton of other DIY videos coming your way. And until next time, thanks for stopping by.